welcome to yet another episode of Make Rich Program. I am Ayubo Jimo. Today, we'll be looking into another small scale business, and that is shoemaking. Shoemaking is a process of making footwear by hand. Over the years, men and recently women have indulged in this business to earn a living and to improve their standard of living. In Nigeria today, about 85% of the people wear handmade shoes. And so, we have an expert who is going to enlighten us about the business. Stay tuned. Who knows? We can make rich. We want to buy Indomie noodles. Small pies, please. Yo. Yeah. This is not my Indomie. Please, sir, if it's not Indomie, don't call it Indomie. Sir, the taste is the difference. The difference is in the taste. That's why my brothers, my mommy, my daddy, and I all enjoy our delicious, so very delicious Indomie noodles. The difference is the taste. The difference is in the taste. Nothing tastes like my Indomie. <laughs> Win 150,000 Naira cash plus a bicycle instantly in the Indomie Cash for Scholarship promo. Spell out Indomie like no other. See pack for more details. Indomie noodles, tasty nutrition, good for you. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon, sir. Good. May we meet you, sir? Yes, sir. Please, what's your name? My name is Uwe Taimati. Uh, we can see that this your business is becoming a large one and is booming at this period, as many people in the country are using handmade shoes. Yes, um, please, can you tell us what um, inspired you in becoming a professional in this business, sir? Mm, yeah, actually, what inspired me in this business was when I was in secondary school. I have a classmate then, but then, my mom used to put on these handmade shoes. So then, the reason I called him that friend was so, first girl, I love this of his way. I told him that he was the one that used to do that. That is his own work. And yeah, the kind of person I am, I like something unique. Like, he, he did it to his own taste. Then, so that is what inspired me most to learn the world. And is it that you learn from your friend or? No, 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 not from my friend. I only met one of my brother then that I have interest in this world. So he took me to his one of his uncle like that. So it was one of his uncle. I never knew him because I don't even know his uncle. So we met with brother. I might have told him that, yes, I'm very serious. I want to have interest in the world. I want to. So that was the main thing is why I don't know him. So you mean your uncle, your uncle Yeah, my uncle's you. friend. Yeah, yeah. 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 So now, during the time of your learning, when you were, when you were an apprentice with your uncle's friend, mm -hmm. what was it like? Was it challenging or was it difficult for you to learn? Mm, yeah, it was not too difficult. Yeah, it was not difficult then. Though there's some challenges in it. You know, during the process of learning, you are not, you are not gaining money then. You understand that like, you don't expect your boss to give you money then because you are still on that, you are still learning. So at times I do sacrifice, I do trek down from my area to his own shop because that's kind of hard for each other. But I sacrifice then, I sacrifice the time then to just learn the work. So there is a lot of challenges, maybe the TP, the feeding money at times. You understand? I can't meet him for money based on the way it is. Do you think um, you are ready to leave your your boss to establish yourself. I just said, what were those things you have done that made you say, okay, wow, well, I'm ready? Mm, yeah, one of the things I saw there was uh, there was improvement when I was there. So I was I saw that there was a, like enough improvement. I was the changes. I saw that wow, I can on my own. I can also start. Like without him telling me some things, without him teaching me some things, like. Based on the past thing that we've learned already, so uh, so then I told him that our bros, I can see that there's improvements. Even him himself said that no, there's a lot of improvements. Like how many shoes do you do in a day? 
in a day, if they tamper and it depends on the style they are going to do, in a day at least, the least shoe that can be in a day is five. Five years, five years of shoe. Wow, that's very good. That's very good. And I can see that you're really doing it very fine. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so, so um, when you wanted to start the business, since you were free from the boss, what what amount did you invest into the business and what can be the least amount a person can can invest into this business to make it flourish mm, actually the first thing you need is your tools you understand that that is the most important thing is your tools first so i think if you can if you are able to get the tools then the fifty thousand naira, the sum of fifty thousand you can start after you get in the tools already. The tools all together. Yeah. Like the machine, that the sewing machine, the filing machine. Together with some chairs that you need. It cost you some of 50,000. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just for the cheaper one at the starting. Yeah. Some of 50,000 I can get those things. The then after you get in the tools, then you have the tools that you need to work. Then you need the materials. So you get in the tools and the materials that you are going to use. So with the sum of hundred thousand all together, one hundred thousand yeah, naira is yeah. okay for the okay for the starting. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, thank you. Um, I still want to ask. I still want to ask you this question. Mm, yeah, what yeah. what uh what are you seeing as a competition in this business? Like, how are you feeling about the competitors you have around the environment you face your business? Mm, yeah, because I like the competition stuff. It depends on your standard. Well, that means how good you are, how perfect you are. If you are good enough, I don't think you don't need to be competing yourself with another person. Just face your own work. Make sure that what you are doing, you are perfect in it. You know what you are doing. You understand? One of the things I say is make your things unique, different from others. That's what we attract more customers to you. But if you end up doing the same particular pattern, same style every day, things will not change. You see, I see you are just doing the same thing. That people know this is what things change. Time and season, things change. So you need to change as time goes on. You need to change your pattern of work, your style of work. So as you change it now, people, you don't need to make, you don't need to solve a customer. The customer will come. You don't know they are getting. The customer will come. You want to know what you are doing. Right? Yeah, I think I skipped some of this question. I really want to know about how many years did it take you to learn shoemaking? Um, to me, to me, no, we have different types. To me, only to me, one year. A year? Yeah, a year. It took me a year. I won't have a year. Yeah, a year. A year is for me. Also, other people, like some other people, you normally know, take them two years, some one and a half years. For me, it's only one year I spent. Okay, during the process of learning. Now, I can see that you're also a student of the Federal Political Computer, mm, and yes. that is very challenging. What are the things you're facing with schooling? And the business, and how you copy that? Um, so the problem there is that you know, most times I used to be disappointed based on the school stuff. You know, at times you just, I would just be in the shop, you know, before that, the lecturer is in the class, you understand? So I have no choice than to drop the work, then drop it down to the class. So that leads to disappointment in my work, in my customers. So I have to just beg them that they should come back before the work, you understand? Ah. That, that will happen. So there is a lot of delay. And are you not finding are you not seeing that as a weakness to your business? Mm, actually which other people are taking as an advantage or strength? Yeah, that one is there, yeah. It's also a weakness to me. But the issue is that you only accept that you don't collect so much of the money. You understand? So all at times that you give them a week and a half or two weeks. Because I know that the school will not permit me to run the business the way it is because of the school activities. So I'll give them the time, one week in Taba, two week in Taba, the next one I go back. So by then I just have to pack all miss to make the shoes ready. At times I do miss my lecture, some of my lectures. So at times I do skip some lectures. So I do miss time I skip one for one. I think that is making the business more better. Yeah, 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 more better. So you just have to sacrifice some time. So I have to sacrifice some time for the work. So I always skip some days for my lectures. So that's what I used to do to balance the work. Okay. Alright, thank you very much, sir. Uh, thank you. You got from Mr. Mr. Taye. This
business can be started by just having a hundred thousand naira. Why not? Let's start something. You might be wondering how shoes are made by hand. Anyways, Mr. Tawo is here to take us through the process of making a shoe. Yeah, this is one of the shoes that are fit well. And yeah, now I want to do something like this again. This is a shoe. Main shoe, sorry. This is a main shoe. And that brings us to the end of today's episode on Make Rich Program. I learned a lot today. I hope you do. Join us next time. Same station. I am Ayubajimo. Bye for now.